So today what we're gonna do is we wanna show you a little bit of a demo. So what we got here is one of our instant wet marinades. One jar will do up to 20 pounds of meat and it's really versatile. So this stuff goes great on fish, ribs, beef. We got burgers, we got pork chops, we got whole chickens for rotisseries, and then we've also got our filet of chicken breasts. The great thing about these products is all of them are gluten-free, they're sugar-free, they're keto-friendly, and they're vegan certified. We want to talk a little bit today about how to use this in the stores. Uh, that's really what we want is the application, not just selling the seasonings within the store, but with all the products we have, there's multiple places you can utilize it within the store. We're gonna use it in, season these items, marinate them. You can sell them out of your butcher blocks and have a nice showing there. And you can package them up and sell them just out of your self-serve case. A couple other places you can utilize it that people aren't doing as much is in the marinated meats and vacuum sealing program. Uh, we can also use them for rotisserie chickens and for your smoker programs. Use them to create a new flavor profile that we haven't had. Uh, these are an ethnic seasoning, so it helps to bring more variety to the store that we haven't had in the past to, to help with those pallets and those new items. So what I'm gonna do is open this up. We're gonna do four teaspoons per pound, and it's an instant wet marinade, so it doesn't have to sit overnight. Once you apply this, it can be cooked immediately if you want to. Okay, and I'm just gonna rub this in. You don't have to massage it, you just gotta coat the meat with it. That's all that it really needs. You can do the bottom if you want, but you don't have to. Um, we're just gonna roll that up. Go ahead and set it right in there in the tray. Once again, this one we'll, we'll wrap up and put it in the shelf, but we will also take this other one to a smoker and cook it up to serve in our hot deli. The nice thing is where it is gonna go into a vacuum seal, it will help it penetrate even a little bit more into the meat as it sits there in the case. And whenever we do a, a value added like this, you wanna at least go about 50 cents to a dollar more per pound on your retail so that you can make up for the seasoning and the time that you spend doing this. And that's what makes these types of programs so profitable within the store. People are looking for those convenience, they're looking for those items that they can just grab and go and they're willing to pay for that convenience so that it saves them time at home. Awesome thing about these are the colors of it, that it brightens the meat. It really attracts people's eyes to it when it's out there on your shelf. The nice thing about the way that we do this as well is we don't put the tray in here with us on these items that are seasoned because anybody who's familiar with sous vide cooking can take this bag, not even open it, and just put it right in their sous vide cooker. He's already got the ingredients label that's coming and it's already printed and all you gotta do is just take the sticker off and then put it right on that package uh, ready for sale. Uh, one thing to keep in mind too is those that are doing large volumes, we do sell these in a five gallon bucket. Five gallon bucket will do 360 birds. There's still consumers in our market that are looking for these types of items. So you can take this whole bird, you can vacuum seal it and have it out there. Uh, tray pack it, put it out in your self-serve counter. That makes it a nice, convenient, eye-appealing item for them. I like to sprinkle the booyah on it because it enhances the flavor. But the other thing I also like, it just helps add a little bit more of that color. Just wanted to show you how easy this was. It was four teaspoons per pound. None of these marinades have to sit. It's instant. And you saw how Jordan just put these on and they're immediately ready to rock and roll.